Welcome. Our topic coverage in this review questions is all about in the Book 2 of Eltham, specifically in Section 55, the disposition of proceeds for basic RPT, and Section 56, the tax on transfer of real property ownership. Number 1. What percentage of the basic real property tax proceeds accrues to the general fund of a province? A. 25%. B. 35%. C. 40%. D. 70%. Answer, letter B. In the case of provinces, 35% of the basic real property tax proceeds shall accrue to the general fund of the province. Number 2. In the case of cities, what percentage of the basic real property tax proceeds accrues to the general fund of the city? A. 25%. B. 35%. C. 40%. D. 70%. Answer, letter D, in the case of cities, 70% of the basic real property tax proceeds shall accrue to the general fund of the city. Number 3, in the case of a municipality within the metropolitan Manila area, what percentage of the basic real property tax proceeds accrues to the general fund of the metropolitan Manila authority? A, 25%. B, 30%. C. 35%. D. 40%. Answer, letter C, in the case of a municipality within the metropolitan Manila area, 35% of the basic real property tax proceeds shall accrue to the general fund of the Metropolitan Manila Authority. Number 4, in the case of provinces, what percentage of the basic real property tax proceeds accrues to the barangay where the property is located? A. 25%. B. 30%. C. 35%. D. 40%. Answer. Letter A, in the case of provinces, 25% of the basic real property tax proceeds shall accrue to the barangay where the property is located. Number 5, are the barangay shares of real property tax subject to any lien or hold back for any purpose? A, yes, they are subject to liens and hold backs. B, no, they are not subject to any lien or hold back. C. Only if the barangay did not liquidate its previous cash advance. D. Only with the approval of the LCE of the municipality or city. Answer. Letter B. The share of each barangay shall be released without need of any further action and shall not be subject to any lien or hold back for whatever purpose. Number 6. What is the maximum tax rate that a province may impose on the transfer of real property ownership? A. 50% of 1% of the total consideration involved in the acquisition of the property or the fair market value, whichever is lower. B. 50% of 1% of the total consideration involved in the acquisition of the property or the fair market value, whichever is higher. C. 25% of 1% of the total consideration involved in the acquisition of the property or the fair market value, whichever is lower. D. 25% of 1% of the total consideration involved in the acquisition of the property or the fair market value, whichever is higher.
Answer, letter B. According to section 135 paragraph of the local government code, the maximum tax rate that a province may impose on the transfer of real property ownership is 50% of 1% of the total consideration involved in the acquisition of the property or the fair market value, whichever is higher. Number 7. Within how many days should the tax on the transfer of real property ownership be paid? A. 30 days from the date of the execution of the deed or from the date of the decedent's death. B. 45 days from the date of the execution of the deed or from the date of the decedent's death. C. 60 days from the date of the execution of the deed or from the date of the decedent's death. D. 90 days from the date of the execution of the deed or from the date of the decedent's death. Answer, letter C. The tax on the transfer of real property ownership should be paid within 60 days from the date of the execution of the deed or from the date of the decedent's death, as stated in section 135 paragraph B of the local government code. Number 8. Which of the following transfers of real property ownership is exempt from the tax on transfer of real property ownership? A. Transfer of ownership pursuant to Republic Act No. 6657, known as Comprehensive Agrarian Reform Law of 1988. B. Transfer of ownership pending issuance of a free patent under Commonwealth Act No. 141. C. Transfer of ownership to a foreign corporation. D. Transfer of ownership through a mortgage foreclosure. Answer, letter A, according to section 135 paragraph of local government code, the sale, transfer, or other disposition of real property pursuant to Republic Act No. 6657 is exempt from the tax on transfer of real property ownership. Number 9. What is the basis for computing the transfer tax on real property ownership in the case of a decedent's estate? A the prevailing schedule of fair market value, tax rate, surcharges, and interests prescribed in the tax ordinance at the time of the decedent's death. b. The fair market value of the property at the time of the decedent's death. c. The total consideration involved in the acquisition of the property. d. The fair market value of the property at the time of the transfer. Answer, letter A, the basis for computing the transfer tax on real property ownership in the case of a decedent's estate is the prevailing schedule of fair market value, tax rate, surcharges, and interests prescribed in the tax ordinance at the time of the decedent's death. Number 10, to which type of transfer does the grant of relief on surcharges and interests on tax and transfer of real property ownership apply? A. Transfer on real property ownership by succession only. B. Transfer on real property ownership by sale. C. Transfer on real property ownership by donation. D. Transfer on real property ownership by barter. Answer, letter A. The grant of relief on surcharges and interests on tax and transfer of real property ownership applies to transfer on real property ownership by succession only, as stated in the guidelines on the grant of relief on surcharges and interests on tax and transfer of real property ownership in support of the estate tax amnesty program. For more videos like this, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Comment your questions and clarifications below. For continuation of this video, please see the link in the comment section.